I knew I was in the wrong body when I was a kid. I always wanted to go to the pool shirtless and I couldn't. I didn't understand why. And as I got older, I realized that I wanted to transition. I went to my first drag show and saw drag queens performing and I was completely intrigued by it. And I went, wait a minute, if men can dress as women, can't women dress as men? How cool would that be? A few weeks later, I did drag for the first time. I can be a woman and be comfortable in my body because Spiky takes care of the gender issues that I once had that I don't really feel are an issue anymore. I remember when I taped how amazing it felt to finally look the way I wanted to look. Still to this day, a lot of people don't know what drag kings are. I walk into a gay bar. I was like, hey, you know, I would love to perform here. And they're like, oh, what do you do? And if I say I'm a drag king, they say, oh, well, we don't do that here. I feel like we still have to prove ourselves in so many different areas, even in the gay bars, it's one of them. Although we are a community, we're still kind of at the bottom of the community. It takes a lot of confidence to get on stage in front of people, especially being a drag king just because what you do is not known. One of my favorite things is getting on stage, being under the warmth of the spotlight and being in the character and having that as my escape route from the world. Even on my worst days, if I can get on stage and do a performance that inspires other people and makes a movement, then there's nothing better than that feeling. I'm powerful, I'm energetic, I'm androgynous, I am Jamie. I am spiky.